Hello everyone, my name is William Height. I'm superintendent of schools in Prince George's County. I think it's extremely important to talk about the tools that are necessary in order to prepare students. One tool is the technology that we're beginning to use at many of our middle schools. These technologies will allow us to really move into the 21st century. We want to make sure that they are knowledge creators. It is important for them to have exposure to the types of tools that will allow them to problem solve, think critically, and engage with others. That means that we have to teach them differently and use different tools when we're teaching them. Some of the tools that will allow our students to do this are the very technologies we're talking about today. Technologies that will expose students to information at any time and any place. I think it's important for us as a system to take advantage of what students already know. And students are exposed to this type of content using these types of devices each and every day. In many cases, when they come to school, they have to power down because we force them to put these tools away. Now we want to take advantage of the tools by providing them to the students directly. This means that it will require different teaching. It is important not just to teach content, but to also have and teach context. And the context with regards to this tool is how to appropriately use this device, how to access information, how to put that information together, and how to use that information to help develop the skills necessary to be successful. Ultimately, our goal is to increase student performance. We almost guarantee that whatever subject you're using it in, they'll get better grades if they take notes and everything on the iPad. Hello, I'm Deborah Mahone, Executive Director of School and Leadership Development. One of my responsibilities includes providing oversight and leadership to the Title I office and those supplemental programs and services that they provide to our eligible Title I schools. As a federally funded program, Title I supplements the academic needs of students. The mission of the department is to provide high quality educational services in partnership with parents and community stakeholders. As a result, a number of school-wide and targeted programs are provided through additional funding and additional resources. We are pleased to announce that in collaboration with Apple Inc., one of the instructional enhancements we are able to provide to our four Title I middle schools is the transformation of their educational experience. By integrating the iPad into the daily delivery of instruction, the curriculum will be transformed, allowing students to create, collaborate by using a highly interactive technological tool. Our goal is simple, to transform teaching and learning in Title I schools and prepare students to be competitive and also to excel on a global level within the 21st century. Here in Prince George's County, we are transforming education through digital learning. being able to use this in your class every single day with a student that has one in front of them. The iPads will allow us as teachers to have a Spanish English dictionary at our fingertips. It also allows teachers to re remove themselves as the main source of information. Communication and engagement is just going to open up with the use of iPads. The division is really simple here at Buck Lodge Middle School. Highly effective teachers provide highly effective instruction. That is through student engagement. That is providing students with multiple means of learning. That is using technology to reach students where they are. It's not just, oh here, here's another worksheet, or mm -hmm. you know, read this passage and write a summary. It's, oh okay, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna look at this map, or I'm gonna read this article in the New York Times that just happened and you know, type up a little summary on that. We can break down the lesson into different aspects and video that. So when a student is struggling at home, let's say if it's a math class, um, if a student is struggling on a certain aspect of a math problem, they can go back in and look at whatever the teacher said from the teacher's own words and they can have that at their disposal and they can go through that and work through the problem at home. Imagine walking into a classroom 
where we have students that are working in groups on different types of projects at different times. In one area, we may need to some students that are working on foundational skills. In another area of the classroom, students may be conferencing with um, professionals or scientists across the nation or across the world. And another group, they may be working on a presentation about whatever it is that the teacher has assigned. This can all be going on at one time now that we have such a tool in our hands where students are excited about learning, where students want to come to school every single day, where teachers want to provide instruction that goes deeper, where teachers are facilitators of learning and not the source of the information.